You know when your hubs need servicing when one of two things happens. Either they start sounding really rough, and it could be loud like that, or you might have to put your ear to the saddle in order to hear the noise amplified up through the frame, or you can actually feel play in it when you grab the wheel and move the axle from side to side. In either case, you need to service your wheel bearings. Now there are two different types. There's cartridge bearings, which are common on mid to high end wheels, and then there are cup and cone wheels, which are commonly with Shimano hubs. Now, we've already done a video showing you how to service cup and cone hubs, so if that's your type and you want to watch that, then there's a link to that video in the description below this one. But back to cartridge bearings then. Now, if they're sounding rough but there's no play, then you might be in time to simply clean and re-grease them. If, however, there is play, then unfortunately you're going to need to replace your bearings. First of all, let's prise off the end caps. Now, in some wheels, it's a case of just pulling them off. Others need Allen keys. And then these actually need cup and cone spanners. Expose your cartridge bearings. They look a little bit like this. Now, even though these are sounding rough, you can see it's actually in pretty good nick. So hopefully we're in time. Now we need to prise this red seal off really, really carefully. So we use the blade of a knife, but you don't want to damage it in any way because if you're reassembling it, then that's potentially going to cause you some issues. Right, so once you've prized the seal off, you get a good idea of the condition of your bearings right now. And surprisingly, considering these actually don't feel great, they've still got their original factory grease on, which I'm seriously impressed about. But either way, it's time to put some fresh stuff in. So we'll degrease it, clean it, and then flush out the degreaser using some WD-40 and then just let it dry for a bit, let it evaporate. Finally, once it's all clean and dry, simply repack it with grease. Once you replace the seal, then you're good to go. However, if you've not been in time and you actually need to replace your whole bearing, well, then you actually need to remove the cartridge. So go online, find out what specification bearing you need, and then buy replacements. And you have to be really specific here. It kind of goes without saying, because there are so many different types of bearings. Once you've got the replacements, then this is how you replace them. We need to make sure that all we've got left in the hub are our two cartridge bearings. So if your axle hasn't come out already, then generally it's just a case of tapping it out with a soft face hammer. So rest the wheel in a plastic tube like that, and then just tap it out. Now it's worth mentioning here that if you are going to remove your cartridge bearings and replace them, then you're wise to invest in some specialist tools for the job can get away with a hammer and a punch and just simply knock them out and then use a drift to get them back in but you do run the risk of doing some pretty serious damage to what is potentially a very expensive set of wheels. I personally take my bearings to my local bike shop and have them replace them. I personally don't find it economical to invest in a specialist tool when actually most of the time my bearings wear at the same rate as my rims so the whole lot get replaced at once. But if you're an intrepid sort of person then here is the process. Once we're at this point, now it's time to actually remove the bearings. And this is where you kind of need something specialist. You can just punch it out with a hammer, like I said, but much better to invest in a specialist bearing puller. Now this type is the cheapest that you can get. And they come in different sizes. The idea being that you insert it into the bearings and then you then punch it out from the other side. But unlike a normal punch, the inside of the bearing is at least supported. Be equally careful when it comes to replacing your new bearings. Now, there's a real danger that they can either go in wonky or that you can damage the bearing itself by putting too much pressure on the inner race if you're tapping it in. So at the very least, use a drift, but for best results, use a bearing press. And seeing as we're talking about wheel bearings, you really want the best result. So in this case, our little homemade bearing press supports the bearings and then threads on to a quick release skewer. And replace your axles, however you took them apart. Just remember how you did it. So there you go, it's not exactly simple procedures, but it is perfectly doable from the home mechanic if you've got the right tools for the job. Now, all it is is a case of prising off the seals and cleaning and re-greasing them if the bearings are rough, but if there's play, then you simply pop the cartridge bearings out and then replace them with new ones. However, if you do have cup and cone bearings, like I mentioned earlier in the video, then you can get straight to that video. Why not click up there? 
or for another area where you often get cartridge bearings on a bike, which is your headset. We've got a video on how to service that. You can get to it by clicking down there. Finally, to make sure you're a full workshop Jedi, you need to subscribe to GCM. So you can do that by clicking, well, you can click on my, uh, my new bearings, actually, if you like. Just that.